Hey, what's going on there, Buttercups? Hard drive. Welcome back to the bench. Fasten your seatbelt. Let's go for a little ride. Alright, and we got a stack of radios right there. Mine. An S9 with a... Uh, you'll see whose it is in a minute. I did a video of the unboxing of these, but your name showed up. And I didn't want to publicize it. And after I rotate the videos, now my editing shit disappeared. It's always something, you know what I mean? And the truckerized. All right. Okay, this is all cold. I'm going to show you a little bit of a difference. Some of the things that I'm going to show you are minuscule, appear to be minuscule, but every single graticule with the little bitty lines on there make the difference. And to achieve the 4 to 1, I really haven't seen anybody else ever do it. I'm waiting for that day, but anyways. <clears throat> The last two videos aroused a lot of people with questions. Todd, Scott, Scott, Stantec Johnson, uh, the truck driver, and a few others. Well, I'm going to show one. Owner, thank you. I'll use yours, but I'm not going to let it rip too hard with the trucker ass. You'll see why. Yes, I called them, found out if it'd be okay to use this amp that we've seen. On the prior videos, etc., you guys need to pay attention because I'm really getting sick of showing this shit all the time. Really, 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 really. And uh, those who think that you just buy a radio and some amp, connect them together, you are the most clueless people on the planet. Just as clueless, like, oh, coax link don't matter, three foot increments, and all that kind of shit. <laughs> so, uh, it gets old after a while. You know? Alright, so everything's cool. Radio's on. Turn it on. I know it's going to get loud. I might have to turn the air conditioner back on too because, yeah, it does get warm sitting right here. It does. Now, hold on a second. Yeah, that'll work. You're going to see some minor changes if you do the comparisons of the video earlier and the one before. That's the radio and the amp. They all kind of go together in time if you watch them. No, this wasn't thought of except for today to do these video, this video. I've seen some of the comments, etc. Amp. You're going to see a little bit of change and a little bit lower. It's a little bit lower. That's where I had it set. When it warms up, it'll let me shut that up. I don't want to hear that. 30 kilohertz. Okay. And you'll see, we've just seen a major harmonic. Everything has to warm up. Everything is tuned warm. See how it's already warming up? There's no need to tune shit cold. People don't, at least the people I know just don't key the mic talk on it. With some radios, you can do that in amplifiers, but not this kind of stuff. All right, as in yesterday, all right? Now we'll go to high power. There's the radio. I'm gonna move it too much and scratch now. It's brand new stuff. Hey John, let's bring you into this one too. And thank you for stopping by on my coax length video. This will endorse what you also had to say on different amplifiers and radios and chains and classifications and matching. All right, Motor Mouth Mall, you'll see it. All right, uh, it's all. This is yesterday. Let's let it warm up. You'll see that the peaks will slowly change. The negative peak is in the biasing. Because the closer you get on the negative, Todd, the closer you get, the less power you have. When you get close on the negatives, it doesn't matter what that meter says. All right? So we're going to say this one's doing a 4 to 1, even though there's no way it will. This amp, okay, it's not linear. All right? It's just not linear. I have my radio over here, well, like I said. I'll pull them out here in a minute. Alright, let's go to 30 megahertz. Uh, 
it. There. There's a lot of shysters out there trying to play the hoodoo video on you guys. So take a good close look. I won't do this again. Matter of fact, I don't even have to. It is what it is, it's because what I said it is. It's very obvious. Alright, there we go. Okay. It's still cold. Right? Blowing out, I don't know, if 90 degrees. This is going to run cool and efficient. It's the whole key to this. And a long time. Along with the radio. You see the negative peaks, they're getting a little bit bigger. They'll probably get a little bit more power now and low power. Yeah. It'll be up to around 100 PEP. And again, it's got to be warm, customer, so you know. So now we know the amp's warm. It's not really the radio that's changing, it's this. All right. So we're going to disconnect this. How many minutes we got? We're already six minutes in. I'm just going to get rid of this for now. Dents and scratches or nothing. Now we're going to hook up this. Everybody's heard this radio one way or another. First off, we're going to connect it straight in. You're going to be going, huh? Really? Yep. But, like I've stated before, MOSFETs are entirely different than bipolar. Going in, MOSFETs into bipolar. Alright. Yeah, nice. Real nice. Okay. Now you see that. Take a good close look. So let's go into the amp now. Call this your standard class C. If you can't replicate this, I wouldn't bother building amps. Sweet floors or something. Okay. It's on. Power to where it's about 100. Looks all dirty, causing all kinds of spurious emissions. What happens to the negative peaks? It's because it's conducting 90 degrees. It's not doing a whole cycle, okay? It's not. It's only conducting about 90. Where's the rest? Well, right there. But look, they've created another set due to impedance mismatches, etc. Not cool, is it? I wouldn't talk on that. Plus, you can see all the distortion. See the distortion? It is putting out about the same power, okay? Let's turn it back up as it's warming up. You gotta look at everything closely, every little needle line, everything. It's all very relevant. Yeah, pushing more, okay? It is. <laughs> This ain't matched to this. This goes into an AB biased four pill. Toshiba's. A little around 300, okay? A little over 300. 80 watt key, and about 100 continuous. That's what you hear. 100 continuous. So this isn't matched to this, so it's totally different again, plus causing issues. Is that that many watts? No, it's not. It's about there, minus all the. Intermodulation distortion, let's go to 300 and see what we got going on. Okay, it's the amps causing all kinds of other harmonics. I don't want to keep it key like that. Now, let me explain some of those harmonics. What you got a couple of megahertz either side of the fundamental frequency are very important. And those harmonics. 
your antenna is not resonant at 108. It's barely going to produce any kind of power or disturbance at all whatsoever unless you're really close to somebody and or you're running a big box. So if you're on channel 28, 285, do some research and look what you're doing to people that are flying airplanes if they were in an emergency situation. That's some bad news shit, okay? It really is. Have some respect for the rest of us and humanity. So now we see everything's all foobar. That's even mine. It'd have to be gone through to match this. And yes, I can match them up to Class C's. A 955, is, it's a sidebander. There's no, it just doesn't make sense. Can it be done? Yes. People thinking you just grab a radio, stick it on there, buy an amplifier. Well, we're just trying to sell you shit. That's all they're doing. All right, gentlemen, please let me know. I do have an unboxing video. I'd like to show your radio, but I think your name and number got shown, like I said at the beginning of this video. Uh, it won't let me edit it no more. YouTube in the last week has been kind of strange. I can go either way. You know. Alright. Directly connect to the radio. Alright. Cover a few more things. 11 minutes. Okay, 30. This is going to be an awesome radio. It's, it looks pretty nasty. You know, and it is. Now, if you ever see anybody using a Magnum radio with a Top Gun if you're using one you might want to think twice about what you're doing because it's extremely misleading trying to show an amplifier because it isn't doing the watts that you're showing it's distortion like I said back in like 2002 you know all Top Gun modulators are on even with the switch off and they're fooling you it's all bullshit take a look see it See? And you see what I just did. So, now, you see what that's doing. This is all pretty much you, Scott Stanick. You had a good call, man. Good call, bud. So usually if you see a scope that won't lock, it's all the harmonics. It's a dead giveaway. You know, if you don't see it locked, what's wrong with their shit? What are they hiding? I have to readjust it. Okay, so now it's a 100 watt carrier, but look at all the intermodulation distortion, a massive amount of it. Now let's look at it. Okay, at that point right about there, it's still only doing like 300 and then it goes from that point and blows up like that and does all kind of weird shit to where it shows 600 it's just meter baiting let's turn the top gun on now it is on as you can see now i just turned it on now watch it let's see if it sounds like charlie brown i didn't test it before but let's see oh yeah one two three yeah <laughs> But look at that meter, baby. Look at that meter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5. Is that what you really want? So that sounds like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Blah, 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 blah. Charlie Brown. Not you, Charlie Brown, but the Charlie Brown video thing. Isn't that ridiculous? Let's 
Let's get this one out of the way. This is going to be a beautiful radio. 1969s. Oh, it works. Let me put this in a safe place. Shut that noisy thing on. Truckerized. Okay, let's. That thing's sticking out. Connect it directly. Truckerized. Truck stop CD shop. Uh, there, there was, there's been some in the past that have been decent. Oh yeah, tuned for watts, man. They call those RMS watt bullshit. Look at that. Doesn't look too bad there, does it? Mic gain's wide open, not very sensitive. I have to pump into the mic jack just to get it to modulate. But anyways, okay, uh, let's go 300. Yep, looks like a nightmare, doesn't it? Back to 30. Okay, now let's connect it to the amplifier. All these different tunes, tune this, tune that, just don't work that way. Okay, I'm not sure what the power settings are going to be, so we come close. He's using like two watts and some other shit. Okay, low power. Look at that. I don't want to do this too much to this amp. Keep it nice and narrow. So we got three hundred. Look familiar? That's actually the only power we have less on the harmonics. Let's go back to thirty. Go to high power. So again, usable power is way less than that, but yet. You know, look, there's nothing there. It'll swing up there like that. All right, the meter. Don't look at nothing. Watch that thing again. Oh, oh, shit. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it's less power. A hundred watt radio. Walk over this, no problem. See it again. Your power is going to stop right about in that neck of the woods. Even though this this these he builds these for like what he calls RMS watts, there's nothing there. Just a massive amount of distortion, spurious emissions and harmonics. And again, once you pinch the negative peaks, okay, power's all gone. See it there? See the line? That's not a line there. It looks that bright though in the camera. Let's see if I can get it in there. But it's useless. Totally useless garbage. But look at the meters. Yeah. Wow, ooh, 200 RMS. 225. But it's all garbage. Without properly tuning the staging, the phase angles, especially with today's age of the MOSFET radios, every single piece and part independently has to be tuned, then matched together to get the final outcome of the perfect wave. It's easy when you know how to do it. Is it easy? No. I hope some of this was informative. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 19 minutes and 39 seconds there. <clears throat> We're not bashing nobody, not doing nothing, just it is the way it is. If you can't match them, properly tune them on a real bench. And again, I don't know of any other bench in North America that remotely comes close. I know some guys are trying to copy, buy more test equipment, but without the certification, calibration, and actually displaying how it's set up, you're wasting your money. Really, save it. 
put into something else. Hope this was informative. It's hard drive here at 15cbshop.com. I'm out of here. Click, click.